Somebody commented recently about seeing some airplane stuff. I didn't plan on filming this, but I found myself in an interesting position over a low cloud layer covering all of central Florida. So I propped my phone up against the windshield as I descended to fly an instrument approach into Ocala. I'm the sole occupant of a Cessna 172 Skyhawk, and I'm descending out of 5,000 down to 2,000 feet headed west. The rest of the approach is going to be flown at 10 times speed. So coming from the east, coming from Daytona Beach, and I'm setting up for the ILS 36 into Ocala, which means I have to arrive south of the Ocala airport and then end up turning to a north heading to come into land. Here I am leveling at 2,000 feet, and then I'm going to get radar vectors to the north-northwest, which put me on a heading to intercept the localizer out of Ocala. Here I am intercepting, chasing the needle. So now I'm established on the course, and I can descend to 1700, which is the final approach fix altitude for this approach. Leveling at 1700 puts me just above the tops of the clouds, and then I'm going to intercept the glide slope from underneath, and once I intercept the glide slope, I'll chase it down through the clouds, keeping both needles centered, taking me straight to the approach end of runway 36. Now what I'm focusing on here is keeping both the needles centered and I'm keeping my airspeed under control as I'm watching my altitude to make sure I understand where I am at all points. As I come out of the bottom of the clouds, I'm 600 feet high, which puts me 500 feet above the ground. Total time, I was exactly three minutes in the clouds. And once I break out and can see the runway, I'll make an approach to land as normal. If you enjoy this type of stuff, there's a great video in the description that talks all about the ILS. Man, I love flying airplanes. Never take the place of a paramotor, but there's some things you just can't do on a paramotor. It's kind of like when Tom Cruise was asked what he preferred to fly, the F-18 or the P-51. He says, would you wear the same t-shirt every day?